Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. Welcome back to White Day. Previously on White Day, we dealt with a couple of bosses. We got the final two elemental seals. I'm here to save you. Get up. Not young. I saw my sister. I heard her soul crying in agony. It's trapped inside the school. Heeman, you must free them. All the dead souls trapped here. You must. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just go. You sure about that? You keep saying you're fine, but it never works out. If it wasn't for you, I'd have never made it this far. I won't ask you anymore. Please leave. Why are you not going? Why are you acting this way? What the hell are you thinking? Wow, they really do, uh, a lot of dialogue. Ugh, I'm so tired of you. Alright, let's get going. Use the last seal. Actually, no. First... Is there a note here? Yeah, it's safe now. Okay! Well, that answers nothing. Put the fire seal in and get out of here. How did it go? <sighs> I think it went well. I really think that my sister's soul has passed on. <laughs> wow, you're such an idiot. You don't know anything at all. What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? What the hell is going on? <laughs> It's our labyrinth. And you are of no use to me now. You will die right here. So you're the girl from the auditorium story. And... I'm taking all these back out, I guess? 
And Na Young was the one who hanged herself after hearing her voice constantly thinking she would join her. Now what do I do? I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's a labyrinth. Coming out of these gal stones. I am not finding any of her medallions. Here's one. The barrier's power must be restored first. Oh, please. Don't say that. <laughs> Why don't we have a dinner party with the kids sometime? Right. Okay. Here we go. You gotta do an order. So you go back this way and get those out. Cal got some pill. What was the order? Not yet. It's never one. Shit. It's not either of those. Or rather, it's not that one yet. I need one more to un finish the barrier. This way, maybe? I gotta catch my breath. Gotta remember my steps too. This way. I should save one cow galston pill in case there's like a boss chase. Here it is. Now we just gotta figure out how to get back to that one. Not going completely back. Hopefully there's a shortcut over here. No, Stoop's back. Okay, catch my breath, catch my breath, and make a run for it. Can't you see me? Where were you when I died? Don't act like you're sad. Don't pretend to be good. You're gonna feel my pain. Listen, I don't think your friend had anything to do with your death. Like Lily at all. We should move on, be at peace. There. Form Captain Planet.
Let's go. No. That one fell out. That one fell out. Let's stay to the left this time. Thank you. You saved me. sister every day, but nobody remembered Sung Ah. She must have felt sad about that. I had forgotten her too, even after all the things she did for me when she was alive. Sing 
So that's it for the White Day remake. I believe I actually found almost all the ghosts in this game. I'm missing one. Specifically near the window with the handprints. And I'm not quite sure how to get her to appear. You have to find like some kind of item. And some of the optional puzzles are actually exceedingly difficult. Or at least well, you have to actually sit down and think and write off things. There is a, a Morse code puzzle. And I'm not really good at Morse codes. So I have a hard time figuring that one out. And there's a lot of little pixel hunting in the sense well, 3D pixel hunting for little items and stuff, and there is um, quite a few secrets in this game. Which, if you're into that, this game has a lot to offer, but the fact that janitors still chase you around during all this makes that a little bit difficult and frustrating. But for the most part, yeah, I found all the ghosts. A couple of them I didn't get their full scenes, but that's about it. Which actually brings me to my main point about this game. And if you notice the pacing is a bit on, and that's because it's very literal to the original. It copies the story and the um, play gameplay of the original almost exactly, just with updated graphics and rearranging of the ghosts and bosses. And so the original game was like this, so... That's unnecessarily a change they did in the remake that made it worse or anything. If anything, the remake is better all around. Some of the kind of interesting puzzles from the original are gone. But for the most part, the, the remake is better all around, or graphics. 
I prefer the bosses in this one for the most part. And of course, the new ghosts are pretty cool. But back to the point I was trying to make was that I don't think this game is just trying to be a pure scary game. And I think it's actually more of a ghost hunting game. In the sense that some of these ghosts are very hard to find. Like, you won't find them naturally, or you have to backtrack to purposely find them. So they won't come into your normal gameplay and jump scare you. Rather, a lot of times you have to find the ghost story related to them. And this ghost story will kind of key you in and how to find them like a puzzle. So it's almost a jump scare reward game where it's like you're a kid sneaking into a school to find out about these ghosts and stuff and like, oh, you are you are essentially the occult club person. And you're kind of going in and going in and finding the ghosts and how to find them. And some are going to be like deadly and some aren't going to be. And then you don't really know which ones are or not going to be. And like, you know, your life is actually at risk. Like you could die from them. So it's kind of like that experience. I think the main story is just kind of a vehicle for that. Like, it's kind of a little bare bones. But as far as that goes, I think that's pretty cool. This is not the best horror game around. Like I said, it's not the scariest. It's not necessarily the best gameplay. Um, some of the puzzles were so good, actually, and kind of like an evil way. That That's very rare for a game to have, like, puzzles like that anymore. So I would say this is a unique game. It's a unique experience. The difficult puzzles and like all the little extras and stuff and the um, the nature of how you find the ghosts and everything, it's like I said, a unique experience that I recommend that you people like at least try playing on your own if you haven't. You know, I mean, if you're hearing this and you've seen my entire playthrough, so it's not going to be the same. But that's how I would sum this up. But it's not going to be like a revolutionary game. It's not going to be as scary as some other horror games that have come out. And But it's... You really can't find anything else like it, with that kind of combination of gameplay. And it's also a mobile game, and it's a pretty well done mobile game, if I were to say so. Considering like the price point, which is only $2.99 or something, and the uh, production values for a mobile game are pretty damn good. So, if you feel like giving it a try despite watching my playthrough, then go for it. I mean, is that much to lose there? Anyway. So, thank you all for watching my playthrough of the White Day Remake. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.